I'm Jerry Montajon, your post media host for all things 106 Grey Cup. Here in Edmonton, we are standing at field level, Commonwealth Stadium, the site of Sunday's Grey Cup final between the Ottawa Red Blacks, Calgary Stampeders. I am with my cohorts here from Calgary. We have Daniel Austin, we have Todd Saloff. Todd, I'm going to ask you, we are halfway through Grey Cup week, and this is our first outdoor practice. Now you grew up in Edmonton here. Yep. This it probably is a terrible weather. That's pretty, you know, it's uh, it's late November. It's actually not too bad for late November. It's There is a, a, a bite in the air today though and uh, you know you kind of look around at the stadium and uh, the, the players get out here, the Stamps are out here, the Red Blacks were not, they elected not to, but the Stamps get out here and it's it's almost like game time Sunday. Uh, it's a, the the sun is down, going down, the uh, lights are on at the stadium, it's, it's cool, it's dipping, it's a uh, it's got that Grey Cup feel to it. Daniel, any strategy to practicing outside when Ottawa was inside? Yes, straightforward. I mean, I watched these guys come out and almost every single player on the Calgary Stampeders team just started rubbing their shoes on the field and they were all pretty unhappy. And what a lot of them said was, look, the field's harder than they thought it was going to be. It's a little more slippery. They're not wearing the cleats that they're wearing right now when they play. That's an advantage on some level. I'm not saying it's going to determine the result of the game, but they are back in the, in the Edmonton locker room right now. They're getting a feel for things. They're just a little bit more comfortable. And, uh, you know, in a game where the margins are as slim as they are in football, who knows? Maybe that does make a difference. Speaking of being inside the locker room, that is the Edmonton Eskimos arch rival locker room. Todd, have you been able to peek in there or hear anything? No, about no, it? that's strictly off limits. But uh, my understanding is, uh, you know, all the uh, double E logos are down. There's uh, not really a hint of anything uh, Eskimo-like in there except for the the colors and uh, and a uh, little bit of uh, Wall of Fame memorabilia. But they've done a, apparently a pretty good job of gutting it down. Makes sense. Uh, Dan, is there uh, any anything you've noticed? I mean, I, I know you're kind of keeping an eye on some receivers and, and what the situations are. What can you tell us? We're still early in practice. Practice was closed yesterday. We know that there was an illness going around. I think it was just sort of a stomach bug earlier in the week. So a lot of, unfortunately, what we saw on Wednesday, we have to kind of throw out uh, at the window because we don't know if it means anything or if guys were just, you know, needing to recover and get, get some water in them, really. But uh, look, I, I've seen Bakari Grant, Grant taking a lot of reps. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about whether DeVaris Daniels will play. Bakari Grant's only played one game for this team this year. But um, he is available and he is a, a receiver that the Stampeders have a lot of time for. Interesting, uh, definitely, situation we will keep an eye on for Post Media. Two days away from the Grey Cup, I'm Jerry Montajon.